Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Pokemon Yellow. Today we are continuing on with the Silph Co building. I have been back and my team is now back to full health. So let's get underway. I know that we need to see this guy and battle him. Uh, before we do that though, we're going to go ahead and use this teleporter. Now the reason we did that is because we have to basically. But we're going to come back to that guy in just a minute. I am going to deal with the scientist first. And I've actually put Nessie in front, uh, also known as Gyarados, because it's currently my lowest level Pokemon. Uh, ironically, it's probably my strongest. Um, so we're just going to train him up a little bit. Now, even against a Voltorb, I don't really feel that concerned, unless, of course, he uses self-destruct, which is quite a powerful move. But you can see that really didn't do very much. Uh, Gyarados is such such a strong Pokemon uh, they're gonna send out coughing now unless they use poison gas I think we'll be okay here I'm gonna hit it with a bubble beam I don't really know if that's gonna be any good but uh, it, about 50% of his health and his speed fell now even if I get poisoned it's okay I did buy some uh, full heals so I'm not really too worried about the poison um, but yeah pretty happy with that I feel like I get poisoned a lot in the Silk Co building, or at least I have on this playthrough. With it being a Magneton, I am going to swap. Who should we swap to, though? We could swap to Machamp. Um, to be honest, we don't really have a good rock or ground Pokemon. Uh, I could teach Machamp Earthquake, maybe. I believe you get Earthquake in here anyway. Uh, I think what we'll do then is swap to Mr. Mime, purely because he's so much uh, higher level than everyone else for the time, just for the time being. And uh, we'll go ahead and use a Psychic, because I don't really have anything that will be overly effective against a Magneton. And yeah, he's going to hit me with a Thundershock. Not really sure if Mr. Mime has a decent special or not, to be honest. I haven't really checked in quite some time because I haven't really used Mr. Mime that much. Um, not since he got... Oh, he's now level 36. With him being a traded Pokemon, so he has 84 specials. So yeah, his special is actually his best stat. So that explains why it didn't really do that much damage. I think if I'd been on par with level there, it might have hurt quite a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and use a... Full heal on Nessie. Now, there is actually a nurse in this building that will, like, heal us, but I uh, don't really want Nessie to die, so there we are. I think we'll keep Nessie in front for the time being. And I think there's another rocket over here. Okay, there actually isn't. That's fine. So now we can move on to the next rocket here. It's important that I fight this rocket because it's going to give me the card key. I heard a kid was wandering around. Yep, that would be me. Or is it me? Maybe there's someone else that's wandering around, but no spoilers. I'm going to send out an Arbok. Now, Mr. Mime would have been good against uh, this one, but never mind. Hopefully, they don't poison me. I'm going to use Ice Beam. Hopefully, uh, totally ineffective. Uh, Ice Beam. That yeah, was okay. Let's try a Dragon Regent. Wow, really? Okay, so I'm going to have to use another full, full heal, but that's okay. 40 health, not too bad. I'll finish off with a bite. I probably could have done two Dragon Rage, but never mind. And Arbok is taken down. Excellent stuff. Boom. Cool. I'll leave Gyarados paralyzed for the time being. I don't really want to waste too many full heals. And we have no more room for items. That's a little bit silly. So let's see what we can get rid of here. Uh, what, what's that? TM10. Double Edge. I might keep that. Horn Drill, maybe. Uh, Elixir, Poker Flute, Rare Candy. Might as well use this Rare Candy now. And I'm going to go ahead and use it on Charmeleon. Yeah, I think we'll use it on Charmeleon. And he's going to level 29 stuff. And we got a card key. Cool. So this will allow us to open up pretty much every door in the Silph Co building. Now I'm going to be looking for some specific items. That being Earthquake and uh, Sword Dance. Now 
I actually don't really have a lot of room for items as we've just found out. So this could be a problem. However, we will find a way around that. I think what I will do is quickly go back to the Pokemon Center, deposit some items just so I can actually pick them. You know what? Our elixirs are quite useful. Yeah, well, I'll just head back to the Pokemon Center quickly. Okay, so I've just deposited enough items now that I can safely collect everything. So let's see what we have here. We have a HP up, which I'll probably just use straight away, to be honest. And um, we have an X accuracy, which is totally useless. So great, uh, I've dealt with that guy apparently. Yeah, we don't really use X accuracies. I don't really use those things in battle, to be honest. There is a scientist here. I don't think I fought, so let's deal with him. And uh, my Pokemon are my loyal soldiers. Fair enough. I think Gyarados is still my lead. Let's see what we have here. There's only one, and he's going to send out an Electrode. Probably, if I had to guess, I would say they're going to use Self Destruct. But, um. Now he's going to use Sonic Boom, it's going to miss. I'm going to hit with a Dragon Rage, just see what this does. Uh, nearly half. To be fair, might as well use another one. And my defense fell. Obviously they are faster than me. But I'm feeling pretty confident. I was always going to do just 40 HP. Hit me with a Sonic Boom. Not really too concerned about that, to be honest. And um, we've got the Bite. Excellent stuff. Now, Gyarados is going to be quite hard to level up, actually. I could swap to Machamp for a little bit. Uh, maybe we should do that. Uh, have him on the team. Well, he's already on the team, but let's get him a bit over-leveled. Because he is a traded Pokemon, he will level up so much quicker than everyone else. And we have a new area here that I haven't been to yet. We can just do a little bit of exploring now, have I dealt with you? Enough of your silly games. Okay, so this is another trainer I haven't fought. It's all about just keep fighting trainers, keep getting our levels up. And we've got Magnemite there. And we have Ricky here. I believe I have the TM for Seismic Toss. But I'm sure that Machamp will just learn that on his own. I still can't believe that Karate Chop is only a normal type move. Sonic Boom, that's probably going to hurt. Uh, yeah, I did a little bit of health, but that's okay. Ah, great stuff, yeah. See, Karate Chop always... Well, it doesn't always, but a lot of the time you get crits and he's level 30. Coughing. And I'll probably just keep a champ out for a while. Um, just get him a bit over-leveled. Because at the minute I feel like he might be a little bit weak because his move set isn't too good. I would like to teach him a ground type move, um, just to deal with like psychic, uh, oh well not psychic Pokemon, ghost Pokemon and stuff like that. It would be a little bit strange um, to use Machamp against Agatha, but it is possible. Let's see what we got here, Machoke against, Machoke against the Machamp now, he's three levels higher than me. But in theory, I've got better stats, so... And we've got the crit. And he's going to hit me with a Leer, that's not going to matter. Another Karate Chop. Well, it might matter. And he missed, that's okay. Um, Is fighting weak to fighting? That's something I should probably know. I don't think I do know. And Ricky's hit level 31. It's just crazy how quickly Machamp will gain levels. Um, traded Pokemon are just awesome. So here we have a Carbos. I can't remember what Carbos does. And here we have a Rare Candy, also very sweet. I'm going to go ahead and use that now. No, actually I won't. I'll save it. I'll save it until Audrey 2, uh, otherwise known as Ivazor, hits level 31. And then I'll evolve them. Uh, Earthquake, here we go, yeah. So we're going to go ahead. Is this the right thing to do? Is teaching Machamp Earthquake the right thing to do? Probably is. It probably is. I'm going to hold off on that for the time being. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that for now. Wait until he learns some moves. 
just see what he learns and we just take our time with that decision because we don't actually need Earthquake yet so yeah we're just gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, let me know do you guys think I should teach Machamp Earthquake? So we've pretty much done all we can in the South Co building obviously there are a lot of rooms that we haven't been in yet so let's see I'm looking for the TM for Sword Dance as well, so we need to find that, it's very important. Uh, we've already found, we already fought the scientist, I'm sure we did. Exploiting weak spots does think about element types, what? I don't know. Anywho, uh, we are looking for Sword Dance. TM9, is that Sword Dance? Let's have a look. Take down. Okay, that is not Sword Dance. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. Uh, we'll just keep having a look around. So, I know that there is, in fact, a nurse somewhere in the Silco building. And is it here? Nope, that just took me back there. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to have a little bit of a look around. Uh, before I deal with him, I'm gonna see what this is. A Hyper Potion, not too bad. We actually have quite a few Hyper Potions now. Uh, that takes me... This is progression. I know this is the right way to go. But first, I want to deal with this trainer here. Uh, I support Team Rocket more than I support Sylph. Why? You're a scientist, for God's sake. Never mind. Yeah, you know, I really feel like teaching him Earthquake is the right way to go here. To deal with, like, electric Pokemon and stuff. Nice. One more Karate Chop should do it. He might even get to level 32 here. Let's see what happens. Well, there's another Pokemon to go, so yeah, I would say that the champ is definitely going to hit level 32 very, very soon. Nope, whoa, okay. That's not good. That is really not good. I'm going to use a Leer. Uh, I don't know if that was a crit, but it didn't feel like it was. Sludge is going to do some serious damage. And it's going to poison me as well. That's okay, we will then swap into Mr. Mime. Now my champ is going to faint, but that's okay because there is a nurse. But I'm not going to bother trying to uh, keep my champ alive now because uh, we're about to go and see a nurse. Uh, that will heal us, so that's okay. Mr. Mime has been extremely useful, and champ did not actually level up there, which I am surprised about. However, that's okay. So if we go just down here, there is a, um, hmm, should we try it? Let's see if Machamp with 1 HP can take down this rocket. I doubt it, but let's just see. Got a drowsy, okay, it definitely won't. I'm not going to bother swapping, should I bother swapping? Yeah, you know, I think we will, we're about to get healed anyway. So we'll probably swap into, um, yeah, Gyarados would be a good choice here. Fusion. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that is good against Psychic Pokemon. So I'm just going to have to hit them with my strongest Pokemon, which in this case, probably Gyarados. I'll use the Dragon Rage to see how much health they have. Probably quite a lot. Nice. As we know, Dragon Rage always does 40 HP. I'll finish this guy off. And then I think after we get healed up and stuff, I'll head straight for Giovanni. And uh, the next rival fight. And the champ actually did get to level 32, which is cool. Uh, do we need to swap? You know, it's strange, but Mr. Mime is just so effective against these guys. Psychic Pokemon in Generation 1 are actually broken. They're overpowered. Which is good, really. It's good for us. Fantastic. 800 and I'm a chop. So again, we might as well just keep Mr. Mime out for this one. 
I'm thinking there is a, another trade in this game where you can get a um, far fetched, but I think I like my team as it is. But yeah, Mr. My uh, my champ is gonna faint, but that's okay. There's a nurse here, and uh, just saves you from uh, going back, which is pretty cool. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Don't give up. Indeed, we shan't. So, now that we've done that, we should be very close to the end. I think we'll just push on towards the end of uh, the Silk Co building now, actually. Haven't found Sword Dance yet, but I'm sure I will somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, the rival fight. Can we do this? Can we do this? I think we can. Who do we want up front? I don't remember who goes or what he has first. I feel like he's gonna bring out... Does he bring out Santru first? Or is it the Pidgeot? See, that's an important question. It's gonna determine whether Audrey 2 is gonna be a good idea or not. Um, in any case, Gyarados would be a good choice against both, so... Yeah, we'll start with Gyarados. Here we go. What's, what's kept you, Blanket? Do this, man. Aha, I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Nice. Okay, let's see. Second rival... F uh, no, this is... I think this is the last rival fight before... Uh, wow. Level 30, yeah, that's crazy. I don't even have Surf yet. This is going to be hard. Uh, he's 10 levels higher than me as well. And I did nothing, so that's okay. Um, yeah, this is like the rival fight before uh, you go to the Elite Four. And Nine Tails again, we'll just leave out Gyarados. And uh, yeah, you know. It's just so effective. Gyarados is just amazing. Okay, not too bad. Another one, maybe. I wasn't really paying too much attention there. I must have got a crit against that Sandshrew to take him down. Wow, really? Wow, well, I thought we'd be able to take him out there. We'll finish with a bite, and we're somehow faster as well, which is crazy. Uh, Cloyster, do we want to swap? Yeah, I think we'll swap now, obviously, to Pikachu. I hope I'm faster. Yeah, I am faster. That's okay then. Okay. Oh, withdraw. Right, so that's going to increase his defense. That's okay. Now we can just finish him off. Nope. Apparently not. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is really going to hurt. One shot. Well, it was a crit, so... What can you say about that, really? Uh, that's just fair play, really. That's how it is. We've got Audrey 2 to finish off with Vine Whip. Now, Aura Beam's a nice attack, so that's going to hurt. Wow. That is unfortunate. Who should we send out this time? Um, a champ. Oh dear. I've just thought actually Machamp would have been good against. Uh, I believe he's got a Jolteon. And we boosted 2000 experience. Kadabra, yeah, we definitely want to swap here. This Kadabra could be the end of the fight. But we'll see what happens. He is quite a high level compared to me, so we need to take this into consideration. Dragon Rage isn't going to do that much. Bubble Beam. Kadabra has a high special, but I think its attack, uh, its basic defense is weak. So that's why I'm going to use a bite. I probably won't get another chance at bite. We got the crit. That was extremely lucky. There's nothing more you could say about that than pure luck. Um, and our last one. Who should we use? Jolteon might sweep us here. But, I'm going to try 
low kick wouldn't be very good anymore actually so we'll try karate chop you can double kick me that he's eight levels higher but apart from that it won't really do much if, if he still had his Eevee, low kick would have been very good, but never mind. I could even use li is it is this all he's gonna do? Use double kick? Because I could win this fight. I could. One more. Sand attack, missed, and there goes the battle. Nope. Oh no. There we are. There goes the battle. I shouldn't have got cocky, really. I think that last one didn't crit. And we hit level 33. It's fantastic. And we defeated Moth. Oh, you are so ready for Team Rocket. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, well, Blanket, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I will become the world's most powerful trainer. Blanket, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. See you later, Gary. Okay, before we do anything else, I'm just going to go back and heal. Um, and then we're going to take on... I'm probably going to have to go back and heal twice, because first, you have to deal with Team Rocket for a second time. And then you have to deal with Giovanni. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. So, to deal with Team Rocket, they're not going to put me Alf in front, they're going to put either Ekans or Arbok. So I'm just going to have Mr. Mime out, we're not going to take any chances. And um, we're going to try and sweep them with Mr. Mime. If possible. With for me Alf, I will swap to Machamp. And here we can get, oh you're not a Rocket, you come to save us, why thank you. I want to, you to have this for saving us, and we've got a Lapras. Do want to give a nickname to Lapras? No, we don't. We're not going to use Lapras, so... Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a good swimmer, it will give you a lift. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to read what he said there. Basically just saying, you know, Kadabra, Lapras is a good swimmer. Hold it right there. Our boss is in a meeting, you better not disturb him. I I think we should disturb him. So let's see what they have. Obviously they have Weezing, they've evolved now as well, and I think two sidekicks and then we'll swap to Machamp, low kick Meowth. Should be okay. There we are. Super effective, good stuff. And yeah, because we're, a tr you know, a traded Pokemon, we're just gaining levels so quickly. I'm a little bit concerned that my other Pokemon are falling behind, but not too concerned. Because we have a lot still to do. And for Meowth, we'll swap to... Um, Champ. I would be interested to see what moves my Champ learns as well. We'll use low kick. Oh, and they used a bite, not too bad. Low kick. Good stuff. And there goes Team Rocket. Excellent stuff. Team Rocket blasting off again at the speed of light. Again. Cool. Okay. So now we just have Giovanni to deal with. I am actually going to leave it there for today, guys. I want to uh, go and have a look around the Siltco building, see if I can find Sword Dance. Um, I think it's in here somewhere. But I just want to thank you all for watching today. Next time we're going to deal with Giovanni. And I will probably move on to the Fighting Dojo as well. But I just want to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you do have any. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.